Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In the in the previous three tutorials, we tried to see about redundancy analysis. In the part one, the concept of redundancy analysis, and in part two, uh, in computation of redundancy analysis, in part three, linear independence is more specifically the the multicollinearity using the uh, variance inflation factor. At the same time, so we try to see the forward selection using forward dot select function in pack for package. Today we will see the partial redundancy analysis. So the concept of partial redundancy analysis is it is a matrix of y that explained by the matrix of the variable in the x in the presence of the covariables uh, in the presence of covariable or covariables. So this is represented as uh, w. So there is a matrix y then explained by a matrix of the variable of what x again in the presence of what covariables or covariable which is as the second w so which is similar to the the, uh, the previous one so we will use the same function like that added a but the major difference between the partial readiness analysis as well as uh, readiness analysis is you have to use the condition or you have to specify the w or the third uh, um, the covariate. So the covariates will be represented in, by mentioning or by writing the condition function, but all the things are the same. So we have the data, uh, this one, uh, that means ecologically motivated transformation, and we, we will use the same data environment and as well as the species, uh, plant species abundance. So let us assign this a partial underscore RDA you can give any names that you want and again we are also using the same package which is the vegan uh, package so other day even the function is the same then specify this one and these are a matrix of or it is a matrix variable in what in x these are in the x then again it is in the presence of what the covariables is represented by what by this one so as i mentioned before it is uh, partial redundancy analysis is uh, can be uh, mentioned as what it, it helps to uh, display the pattern of what the response so this is the response data the response data that uniquely explained by what by the linear explanatory uh, uh, variables so when the effect of what when the effect of uh, other uh, covariate is what is held constant so these are the modulation for for the model formulation for the uh, partial redundancy analysis and this is the y matrix this is the x matrix this is the uh, covariate which is considered as a constant so type this and submit to our studio yeah then let's see uh, the summary so as you can see here um, as you can see here, uh, there are three different uh, variants, but in the previous one, there is two variants, con uh, constraint and as well as unconstrained. But here, there is um, one additional variance is added to uh, the, the total variance, which is the uh, conditioning. So the conditioning means it is it gives you the amount of variance that has been explained by what? By the uh, covariables like temperature, alt, and what we uh, give this one, yeah? This one. Again, the constrained one is, it is gives amount of variance what that is uniquely, that is uniquely uh, explained by what? By the explanatory variables by this one, yeah? By this one. While, the unconstrained one, the last one, the unconstrained one, it's what simply gives uh, the residual uh, variance. So by this way, you can describe that all the remaining things are what? The same. Then uh, even let's see how our model uh, is explained. So in order to extract the adjusted R square, you have to use the same uh, formula, R square adjusted, uh, add, then you have to indicate the model that you created. So we created a partial underscore uh, RDA, 
then again adjusted the value so type this and submit to our studio so our model is explained around what 24.86 uh, percentage and uh, we can also uh, check the significance of our model so this is the global the second one is the axis and the third one is the thermos or the exploratory variables so in order to check the, the global one use the ANOVA uh, to CCA function then write your model so it is uh, highly uh, significant and even the model is explained 24.86 like we see as we see uh, we see in adjusted r square then which axis is significant so in order to do that you have to use anova.cca function then your model then by axis yeah out of uh, seven uh, axes only the first two axes are what they are the, the first one is highly significant while the second one is uh, significant but the rest is not statistically significant since the p-value is greater than 0 0.05 let's see the terms terms is uh, what is explanatory variables so which ex which variables is significant so here is g is highly significant is significant and d is significant but the rest one are not what statistically uh, significant then let's uh, visualize the plot so you have to use either or the plot or the plot function and write the model okay and let's bring this yeah you can use this method or you can use the second one yeah so by this way you can compute the partial redundancy analysis using our software and if you are new for my channel uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and provide your valuable comment and suggestion to my channel and those who already are family please uh, share to others uh, in order to get in order to dispatch my channel and to reach the world thank you for watching have a nice time